Dear World Space Week participants, it is a great honor for me to present to you our World Space Week 2021 honorary chair, Ms. Lisa Callahan. Ms. Callahan oversees the development of the next human lunar lander and development of the Orion spacecraft, parts of NASA's Artemis program, which will return humans to the moon and eventually take them to Mars and beyond. Her team develops and operates the human and robotic spacecraft that explore and unlock the secrets of the solar system. She also oversees the weather satellites, which are significantly improving the way that forecasters predict severe weather and fires across the Western Hemisphere. Ultimately, Lisa Callahan's team is improving life on Earth through discoveries in space. Lisa, thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, and thank you for having me. It's been uh, a joy. Please tell us, in your view, what's the importance of World Space Week? You know, World Space Week is really amazing to me because it provides a uh, global awareness of the importance of space and how space and the discoveries from exploration can benefit humanity right here on Earth. And this year's theme of World Space, uh, of celebrating women in space, is of particular excitement for me to recognize the women who have played significant roles in space and who are inspiring the next generation of girls to follow their dreams and have an impact on the future of space. It was really great working with you as honorary chair for World Space Week, especially with our theme, Women in Space. How has your experience been, been so far? You know, this year has been amazing. Um, it's enabled me to meet so many different women from different disciplines that all have a common interest and passion for advancing space and benefiting humanity. I particularly enjoyed the world, the Women in Space webinar from earlier this year, where I had the privilege of moderating an amazing panel of women. And Mariska, thank you so much for participating in that. I think one of the things, though, that I realized this year is how important it is for girls and women that are early in their career to see leadership role models that are women. And for us to tell our stories, I'm always stunned about how many of us have had similar experiences, challenges, and, excess, and successes, and how important it is to share those lessons to help others to realize that they have the ability to reach their aspirations as well. Can you tell us more about what does Lockheed Martin do to encourage women and support women in the aerospace industry? Sure. Um, for as long as I can remember, Lockheed Martin has been focused on diversity, and one aspect of that is really advancing women in technical and leadership positions. One of our businesses' resource groups that we have is called the Women's Impact Network, and that's a group that really helps to um, mentor, network, and provide opportunities for women and their personal development. Through these efforts, um, the WIN group has inspired the next generation of leaders, and just some interesting facts about Lockheed Martin and how that's impacted our business. 22% of the women at Lock, or 22% of our leaders at Lockheed Martin are women. 36% of our board of directors are women. We have 7,800 international employees, and over half of our workforce are millennials or younger. Another really fun fact from the business that I'm associated with, Lockheed Martin Space, is that all of our lines of businesses are run by women as well as our engineering organization, our legal department, and our communications group, which just to me speaks volumes of the focus and the energy that we place on diversity and promoting women. Wow, this is really impressive. And I can just say thank you for, for doing so much to support women. One of the goals for World Space Week 2021 was to give the next generation, young girls, young women, role models. Who was a significant role model model for you in choosing your career path? Yeah, Mariska, when I started my career, it was over 30 years ago. I hate to admit that, but um, <laughs> there weren't a lot of women role models in the aerospace and defense industry. So I really, um, my role models really stemmed from my parents. My father was an engineer and he always taught me to be inquisitive about things. Um, one example I still remember today is when I started driving he taught me that I needed to know how to service my car, to change the oil, to do repairs when it broke down. And my mother um, really showed me that um, a woman could have a strong career and be able to raise a family. So I would say my parents were my initial role models that got me started. This is really great to hear that you had support from such a young age. I am sure that everyone is wondering, what would be your words of advice to young women who may be considering a career in the aerospace industry? 
So I think first I would just say, um, think and dream big. Um, challenge yourself to stretch beyond even what you think you might be capable of doing. And in order to enable yourself to be successful at that, really seek out mentors. Um, I often tell my mentees to have a whole board of directors. So don't settle for one mentor, have many that can help you to be the best that you can be. Really believe in yourself, you can do it. And then the last thing I would say is please share your stories. Talk about your successes, talk about some of the struggles that you might have had. Um, you will be amazed at how many people you can inspire to go for their dreams as well. Thank you so much, Lisa, for these words. It was truly a pleasure, an honor to work with you as honorary chair. You are an absolute role model for me as well as a young woman working in the space sector. And I can just say thank you. Thank you from, from my heart for, for all the hard work you've done. Well, Mariska, thank you so much. You have um, been a great leader for World Space Week and, uh, and just truly have enjoyed working with you this year. Thank you. And thank you everyone who's been listening to our interview. Happy World Space Week and please join us for other events as well.